Audiences were taken with a new film starring Liam Neeson. I bet you haven't heard that one yet. Our movie critic Eric Childress <laughs> is here with the numbers behind that blockbuster hit. Good morning. Good morning. Well, nearly $50 million at the box office over mm -hmm. the weekend. It's been a while since we've had one of those oomph kind of weekend openings. Yeah, I mean, we really haven't had anything really big in since like The Dark Knight Rises. And just September was a very weak month. We were talking about that a few weeks ago. Last week, Hotel Transylvania broke all the September uh, three-day weekends. And this weekend, second week in a row, Taken 2 almost did it for October. It's the third highest October weekend ever. Critics have been panning this film, <laughs> though. They say, what do you think? It's kind of awesomely ridiculous. That's what they say. Yeah. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how it performs in weekend two. I think the movie's going to have a, quite a huge drop off. I don't think it's going to have. I mean, the first one taken was you know an so only open. So good. So it was a great so movie. So good. And they played on TV. I played. Yeah, the cable has been very successful and it was a big word of mouth hit at the box office. Only opened to, to half of what the, the sequel did, but went on to do 145 million. I don't think it's going to do that much, even though uh, foreign wise, it's almost broken what it. Uh, the first one made at the box office foreign wide. So I think this movie is still going to be in the profit. The Fox has no problems with that, but it is not going to make the 145. They were advertising in Paris while I was there, there recently. Go. Let's take a look at the weekend numbers from last week. And as we mentioned, taken at nearly $50 million. Hotel Transylvania at $27 million. Pitch Perfect made it into the top five. Talked about that. Looper. And Frankenweenie coming in at $11 Big million. Big disappointment for Frankenweenie. Very upset with that. Coming up this weekend, Argo. This mm -hmm. film has huge buzz. Will it live up to the hype? It's going to live up to the hype. I mean, certainly with critics who have been praising this thing to the hilt for uh, more than a few weeks now, played Toronto. Uh, it's going to be a major Oscar player this year. You know, watch out for that. It's going to be a major Best Picture. Affleck's probably going to be nominated for director. And I think audiences are really going to like this movie, too. It's a, f it's a funny film. It's very suspenseful. It's a true story. Uh, it's a very tight film. It only comes in around two hours, so a lot of people are going to go to it. I believe it's going to take number one at the box office this week, and I really well, do. Here's what else is playing Atlas. Shrugged. Here comes the boom. Seven psychopaths and hmm. sinister. Huh. Well, Seven Psychopaths is a lot of fun. It's not opening on as many theaters as Argo and some of these others, so look for that. That's a lot of fun, a really fun movie to go to. And I saw Arbitrage, yes. and I loved it. I wanted it to go on. It's a very good film. It's a good movie. I probably won't win any big awards, but boy, is it entertaining. It, I think you you might be surprised that it's going to get some conversation, I think, with awards. You know, gear, Susan Saran in particular for supporting Loved actress her. might be in there. She's and it's, it's worth noting that this film was only open on like 250 some screens, and it's the second highest grossing film in that sort of that range after The Untouchables released by the Weinstein. So it's a very, six million dollars, it's a very good total for a film like that. Good to have you here, Eric Childress. Thank you.